Hello, welcome to Prejim Technologies. I am Venkat. This is part 39 of ASP.NET video series. In this session, we'll discuss about the use submit behavior property of the ASP.NET button control. Let's actually understand this with an example. Let's design a web form with a text box and two button controls and a label control. What this web form basically does is it allows the user to enter a name into the text box and when we click the clear button it has to clear the text that we enter into the text box but whereas when I submit after I enter a name into the text box you know the label message should display whatever you have entered into the text box and with this example we'll understand the significance of this property use submit behavior. Let's flip to Visual Studio. I have a simple ASP.NET web application project here. Let's enter this literal text name. I want to bold that, so highlight and control B. Let's drag and drop a text box control onto the web form which allows the user to enter a name. And let's give the text box a meaningful ID. Let's call it TXT ID or TXT name. And then we want two button controls. So let's drag and drop a button control onto the web form. I will use the first button control to clear the text box. So let's give it a meaningful name. BTN clear. And let's change the text to clear. Let's drag and drop another button control on the web form. And this button is used to submit the web page to the server so that whatever text that we enter in the text box will then be retrieved and set as text for the text box control. So the ID is button submit and the text is let's say submit. And let's also have a label control on the web form. And this label is used to display the message back to the user. So let's get rid of the default text that we have and let's change the ID of the label to LBL message and then let's change the font to be bold so expand the font style and then set the bold property to true and I also want to change the full color to dark green so let's set that to dark green okay so we have the form design now now what should happen when I click this clear button whatever the user whatever the text that user enters into the text box should be set to an empty string so double click the clear button so txt name dot text is equal to string dot empty so we want to set that to an empty string but whereas when he clicks the submit button what we want to do is we want to set the text property of LBL message to whatever the user has entered into the text box. So you entered to this string, I want to append whatever the user has entered into the text box. So txt name dot text. Okay, a very simple application. Let's run this. And then when the web form renders, we'll enter the name and then submit the form for processing. Now I'm not sure if you can see this in the video but when I look at these two buttons clear and submit the clear button has a light blue color you know border around it okay which indicates that the web form is going to use you know this button this but this clear button is going to have the default submit behavior meaning if I enter something into the text box I'm entering the word Prajim look at that the cursor is still blinking in the text box okay I'm not using the mouse control to click on any of these buttons okay I'm moving away the mouse observe that the cursor is still blinking in the text box now if I hit the enter key look at that you know the clear button is actually the clear buttons event handler is actually executed that's because all the ASP.NET button controls have a property called use submit behavior property and that is set to true by default which means when this property is set to true then 
you know that button is going to use the browser's submit functionality so I have two buttons here for both of the buttons in this case use submit behavior property is set to true so clear button is coming before the submit button so when I enter something into the text box and press enter you know the first button will will have that submit behavior you know the click event handler of that button will be executed okay but here what I want is when I enter name and hit enter I want the submit button event handler to be executed by default so how do we achieve that to achieve that all we have to do is in the source or we can do that in the designer as well select the button the clear button go to the properties of the button control and then there is a property called use submit behavior which is true by default look at this for button clear it's true let's pin this down let's go to submit button and even for submit button it's true so for all the button controls by default this property is true okay all we are doing right now is select the clear button and we are setting the submit behavior to false and obviously as you might expect in the source that would have added that attribute you submit behavior is equal to false and we are doing that for button clear okay so that's the only change that is required now if I go ahead and run this now as it stands when the web form renders you know look at that now the submit button has that blue border around that indicating that that is going to have the default submit behavior so now if I enter this word presume into the text box observe that the cursor is still blinking in the text box I'm not using my mouse to click these buttons okay now when I press enter look at that the default submit behavior is with this submit button okay so the only change that we have made is that we have set the use submit behavior property of the clear button to false. So what has happened when you said that and what is this use submit behavior property doing? Let's understand that. The use submit behavior property specifies if the button control uses the browser's built-in submit functionality or the ASP.NET postback mechanism. Okay, If this property is true then it uses the browser's built-in submit function okay because of which you know if you remember all the button controls have this property to true so all the buttons are going to use the browser's built-in submit function but if we set that property to false then those button controls are going to use ASP.NET postback mechanism so how does an ASP.NET does a postback with the help of a JavaScript so when you set the property use submit behavior property to false then that button is going to use the ASP.NET postback mechanism to post the web form to the server when you click that button and it does that by using the JavaScript so the ASP.NET framework will actually inject JavaScript some client-side JavaScript which will be used by the button control to do a postback when the user clicks that button and to prove that when this page has rendered if I right click on that and then when I say view source of the page let's expand that and look at this I have two we have two buttons button clear and button submit for button clear you have a little JavaScript injected here on click there is some JavaScript here so this is what is causing the postback to happen when you actually click the button but whereas if you look at this btn submit its button type is submit which is using the browser's built-in submit mechanism so the use submit behavior property specifies if the button control uses the browser's built-in submit mechanism or the ASP.NET's postback mechanism this property is true by default when set to false ASP.NET adds a client-side script to post the form back to the server for processing and we have just seen that so this is that little a you know JavaScript injected by the ASP.NET to view the client-side script added by the ASP.NET right click on the browser window and view source and we have just seen that how to do it on this slide you can find resources for ASP.NET C sharp and SQL server interview questions if you want to receive email alerts when new videos are uploaded please subscribe to my channel at youtube.com forward slash kudvenkat k-u-d-v-e-n-k-a-t as you can see on the slide that's it for today thank you for listening have a great day